Also coming up in the programme, he may not look a day over 10, but Sooty is actually celebrating his 65th birthday today. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't think of a better way to spend it than here with us this morning. Sooty's here, I think. It's just, hey. just over there. He oh. is. There he is. M morning, Sooty. It's always a bit surreal talking to a puppet. Uh, <laughs> is, it, is it your birthday today? He can talk. Do that. Okay. What did he tell you? I'm not going to repeat that. That's probably best not. <laughs> it's very, very rude, Sooty. <laughs> uh, we'll be talking to Sooty a little bit later. You've made him cry, Charlie. <laughs> uh, it's his birthday. Happy birthday, anyway. You should have said that. Happy birthday, yes. Time now to get the news, travel and weather where you are more Sooty later on. See you in a minute. Uh, here on Breakfast, though, it is happy birthday to Sooty. Happy birthday. And here's Sweep as well. Morning, both. Sooty and Sweep both here this morning. Happy birthday, Sooty. <laughs> 60, 65 years old. Doesn't look it. Extraordinary, isn't it? And we'll be talking to um, Sooty a little bit later. I think, Sweep, you've got some plans, haven't you? Yes. OK. OK, Sweep. <laughs> They've gone now, hopefully. No, For a while. We'll be back later on. Time now to get the news, travel and weather where you are. There aren't many celebrities who can say they look the same today as they did 60 years ago, but even though Sooty's now officially an OAP, there's still not a grey patch of fur in sight. Yes, the famous TV bear celebrates his 65th birthday today, but there's no sign of him retiring at any time yet. In fact, he's just finished filming a new series featuring celebrities like Caroline Quinton and Joe Pasquale. He's here now. Very good morning to you, along with his pal Swerp and Sooty <laughs> Show, Show presenter Richard Cannon. Swerp? Swerp is first. Where is Swerp? Where is Swerp? Is Swerp? Who is Swerp? <laughs> is he back? I think he went Sweep. <laughs> yeah. Where is Sweep? He's just skipped off to get the birthday party <laughs> celebrations in order and to see the solicitor about uh, name changes. Does, 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 <laughs> do you think, can we ask Sooty if he thinks uh, Sweep should be changed to Swerp? Swerp. What's that? Absolutely that will, that will not. That will teach me to actually read what's there. What did he say? It's a disgrace. You should <laughs> sort it out. No, it's all right. He, he's used to be calling lots of names sweep, so uh, it's I, a I, used, I did have my own very own sweep but way back in the 1970s. What's that? She does need to get out more. She does, <laughs> doesn't she? Yeah. Really. Tell us a bit. Can I, I don't know how we do this. What's the mechanism here? Do we talk to you or do you talk directly to Sooty? How well, you can work? talk directly to Sooty and he'll, he'll whisper the answers to me. That's can, how it's sort of works. Can I ask Sooty a little bit about his heritage and, and you know, how come he came to be in the first place? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll tell them that now. You see, it works, doesn't it? Yep. He said that uh, he's actually 65 years old today because it was this day, four, uh, 65 years ago, that Harry Corbett discovered him in a joke shop on North Pier while he was on holiday. And uh, Harry bought Sooty for his uh, children, who were very young then, Matthew and, and uh, David. And uh, a BBC producer spotted Harry using Sooty in his amateur magic act and uh, put him on the telly. And the rest is literally history. And 65 years of history, that's incredible for um, somebody like you. You're yeah. looking very good. <laughs> yeah, right. less, of, less of the bowing, big head. You're all right. He is looking very good, isn't he, for 65? We all need a bit of whatever he's taking. I'm not sure yes. what it is. But he's looking great. Good and got a new series as well. A new series on CITV, which is wonderful. Uh, it's the longest-running TV show in the world, and we've just done another 26 episodes. So we've done 52 episodes in the last two years, and there's no sign of him slowing up. Mm. Can I ask uh, Sooty a question about relationships? Because <laughs> I always, I've always wondered about the relationship between uh, him and uh, Sweep, and <laughs> and sorry, the pa the pa is it the panda? The panda. Sue the panda. Sorry. It's, I know it, it is Sue. Yes, it's, it's Sue. Sue the panda. Well, how do, well, can you just explain the setup and the well, how does it work? Well, it's very simple. Sweep is the, the fool. He's uh, Sooty's best friend, and Sue is the sensible sister, and they're very close, aren't they? You and Sue. It's a little bit like a, a childhood girlfriend and boyfriend. Mm -hmm. They are officially, you know, in, in love, I think, in, in, in a child kind of way. Nice. Which was famously the reason why Harry Corbett left the BBC, you know. They thought it was a little course, bit, he was... bit tricksy when Sue came into the, the really? scenario. Um, but uh, they've been happily together ever since. Oh, look, there we are. There's Sue. Wow. <laughs> There's lovely sweet. Ah, there he is, looking good. And Sooty is, is famously, of course, as, as we can tell from our interview here, is, is silent. It's, it's non-speaking and no noises or anything. Is that frustrating sometimes? It's not frustrating. Is it? it is sometimes. But actually, we got, I'll, I'll give away a little secret here. For the first time in 65 years, in our next series, Sooty yes. meets a genie. 
and he has the ultimate wish, which is for people to hear him. I won't spoil the surprise. No, don't. But uh, we are making a little bit of history. But he hasn't been heard for 65 years. Well, it's all been he done will speak. Uh, that would be giving away too much, but he'll make a sound. We won't spoil the illusion. Okay, so just to, be, ah. just to be clear, so Sooty and Sweep are still together. Sweep is just not here because he's got he's other He's gone to Blackpool because Sooty was born in Blackpool. We're having a big celebration. Sooty is a major part of Blackpool Illuminations this okay. year. It's a big surprise, and Sweep's gone to sort all that out. And, oh, my goodness, what's that? He said he's got a little present for you for I his see, birthday. I see. I bet it's lovely, isn't it? Do you want to show everybody? This is we always like people no. to bring things oh, in. Oh, it's the magic wand. Do you know the magic spell? No. You don't? <laughs> You, soon, swap. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. That's the magic spell. You say it. Izzy, Izzy Wizzy, Wizzy, let's, let's get, get busy. busy. No, don't do that. Just don't do No, 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 no. You see, he's still doing the same. <laughs> don't do that. Um, don't do that to, to Charlie there. Look, Louise is laughing. Sure, she's not oh. laughing now, is she? Look. Do you know what? That's really lovely in this team. Thank you so It was much. Louise. You're very swerp. naughty. You're very naughty. She should get it, not me. Well, well she, you can always. No, don't do it again. Don't do it. Don't do it again. Thank you very much. We've done that one now. They are laughing. Uh, so the show. <laughs> on CITV on weekday mornings at 10 past nine, the series starts on ITV and CITV in September. That is a, that is a, yeah, that's a cure for the heat. Thank you very much, Sooty. Lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for having us in. And happy birthday, little Sooty. Happy birthday. Uh, lyricist Don Black, the man behind some of the greatest lyrics of the past 50 years, is going to be here shortly. Do you think he'll have a water pistol? I hope so. Here's the last look at what's happening where you are.